So hi there. So again, here I am. Uh, this is Saturday or the Sabbath uh, for those who are Sabbath keepers who would happen upon this channel. And now this we are focusing on um, still living holy. We're talking about how to be holy. So I, what I did to help me in my, um, uh, to help me with and I'm trying to keep it as real as possible because I'm in this on this journey with you. So I'm not going to really do any editing as for now. I'm just wanting to make sure everything is real. I keep it real. You keep it real. So I found a verse. I went searching for verses that uh, deal with holy and holiness, righteous and righteous living. Okay, so that was my assignment because I, I was asking the Lord what... Um, how to teach people how to live holy. This is an assignment that you gave me, so help me with it. So he said, well, first you wanna do is uh, just do a topical search on holy, holiness, and those words like that, okay? So I found the first one. I have like 11 pages. So to give me content from week to week, I'm not gonna deal with all the verses at the same time. Um, I'm not gonna even group text together. I'm just gonna deal with one text or one you know, scripture at a time that deals with holiness. That way I have content from week to week. So this week we're dealing with 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 through 16. This is the ESV version. And it says, but as he who called you is holy, you also, let me do it this way so you can see, <laughs> so you can see me. I don't wanna, you know, lose focus trying to read, okay? So, um, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. Okay, so the key word that jumps out at me in this text about holiness is our conduct. Okay, so what about conduct? I looked at the little definition before I started um, reading here. And conduct, I'm gonna walk around so I can walk and talk. And I'm in a beautiful garden setting. Here, this is the Garden of Hope. I don't know if you can see that right here. Let me see. Garden of uh, Garden of Hope. Can you see that? No, here we go. Oh, good night. Garden of Hope. Ah, okay, here we go. Garden of Hope, that's where I am um, at church. So a young lady started a garden. So I like to be outside in nature as I talk and as I move, because I'm a nature person, nature bound. Okay, sorry about that little snorting thing. But be ye holy as I am holy. And this verse is talking about in your conduct, okay? So what about conduct? That's your manner of your behavior, your deportment, how you carry yourself. We want to be holy in our conduct. You know, I was talking to a young lady yesterday during devotions, we have devotions together on Friday, and I was asking her about holiness. She wanted to bring in dress and tattoos and everything. I'm like, you know what, it's not our, you know, we're gonna be changed, but what about the conduct? You can look holy on the outside, but you can have a nasty attitude. You could look holy on the outside, no tattoos, no piercings, nothing, and just be the, 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 the grimiest person, lie, a liar, you know, um, just don't know how to treat people and that's the main thing God is talking about and almost every verse I looked at but we're gonna just deal with this one for now but to stay on track we're looking at conduct just your conduct how do you treat people like I came into church today you have some people that speak some that don't speak and um, so what I try to do is I try to make sure I speak to people I try to keep it holy I try to um, say good morning good afternoon i try to speak hello how are you try to smile at everybody i try to keep it holy i try to watch my conduct how i conduct myself you know when the offering plate is coming around i um didn't have anything to put into it today i just keep it real so but you know i'll hand it <laughs> next to the next person so i try to do my part in my conduct my deportment in the way i sit in church not talking and so and so other people can't hear around me you know carrying on another conversation while the minister is doing his thing so you know all those things you know how do you how i walk people ask a question do i answer the question you know um uh if people ask a question that 
to me might seem ridiculous, but you know, I'll answer it anyway. I don't judge their question. Uh, I'll just, or didn't I just judge their question? <laughs> but I, I try not to judge their a question or anything like that. You know, you just answer it. You know, so I try not to offend God in his own house. I try to keep, um, keep it holy in God's house. It is house and I try to reverence him in his sanctuary from the parking lot to this pew. I try to make sure I keep it holy so that I do not disrespect God in his house. And I think maybe did I dress a little holy today? Well, I know I have uh, the cold shoulders going, but I don't think that's unholy. And then I have on a tight skirt. Let me see if you can see it. I'm going to redo the camera a little bit like this so you can get the whole look. Okay, don't look at the gut. Okay, so can you see? Now, my, t my skirt is a little narrow. It's a fishtail. So, but what I try to do is cover the hiney, cover the buttock, so you don't see the, the shape of my butt, okay? And you don't see my split, okay? So you don't see any camel toes, <laughs> okay, or, my, or anything like that. So I try to keep it holy when I go into the house of God. You know, you have women, you have their husbands, you have boys, you have men, all stuff like that. So I'm looking at my deportment and how I my conduct and how I dress myself to go into the house of God and try to keep it holy in that respect as well. Okay, I'm not trying to focus on dress, but uh, how you dress yourself is a part of your conduct, okay? And then how you walk in that dress is a part of your conduct as you are heading into the sanctuary, into the house of the Lord. You know, we take it, we, are, we trivialize that. I know it's a lot of people trivialize going to church these days. They don't really dress up. You know, everybody want to be laid back and casual. And, you know, that's their right. That's their right. But, you know, we want to respect the God of the universe. We want to respect the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and the God of Gods. We want to respect, respect the great sovereign God of the universe, you know, which is in our, whose midst we are in. He allows us a privilege to come into his midst, and we want to respect that. And I believe that part is, you know, a part of holiness. Just our conduct, our deportment, how we act in the presence of God. He's with us always, everywhere we are. So we have to be mindful, not just conduct that and be holy when we go into his house, but be holy all the time because he's with us all the time. All right. I think I've talked a little bit too much. So that's all I have for you today. Peace.